Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. Hold on. Let me clear my throat. All right, so what do we have left, my dears? What do we have? We have water and air. So let's see, let's see what's up. Whoever is up next for water or air, okay, um, you're definitely going towards your destiny. So, let's see, water or air? Water or air? Water it is, okay? So, it's the page of cups. There might be some fantasizing, there might be some feelings being told, shared, that type of energy. Um, so let's see, let's see what we're looking at. Let's do this. All right. Week two, June. Week two, June. Week two. One, two, three. No, thank you. Water, water, water. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, please, for those who are unaware, the individuals will be on Patreon this week, okay? So we have judgment. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. Knight of Cups. I'm not sure if I said nine. My nine sounded like night. Um, okay, so right off the rip, I can tell you it's like you're facing judgment, like you're ready to face something. This is when the Knight of Cups, it, it, this particular one. This is somebody who wants to tell you how they feel. It's like little games being played, but nothing bad. Like, it, it's like, um, chemistry, right? This Nine of Swords is like stressing you out or stressing somebody else out, though. This is, this would be saying this is not the first time you slept with this person. So I don't know if you stopped sleeping with this person, you know, judgment's out. So do I want to get myself involved with this? Do I really want to do this? Do I want to share my feelings? It, it makes you nervous. Because this card is literally, it's, it's like nerve wracking. Like I'm sure the chemistry is there and it's passion and all that. And it's not necessarily nerve wracking when you're being intimate. It's more... Unless I can tell what the dynamics, this is, do I do this again? So there's definitely vulnerability on the board. I'm not even touching anything on the table, and this is shaking. The table's not even off balance. It's weird. Sheldon, 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 Sheldon. Five of pence. Yeah, see, this is actually, this is coming back together. So this is, this is a very strong message, okay? Um, five of pence is normally who, you know, you, you miss someone, you're lonely. This is more or less like the two of you are lonely when you're not together. Nervous on how something's going to go. Happy when you're together, chemistry when you're together, and lonely when you're apart. I don't even see this as being bittersweet. It's a beautiful connection. There's just, there's something lacking. There's anxiety around feelings. Um, this more or less is telling me you need to make the judgment call or, or they do. So it's a lot. 
for whomever, whomever this read is for, that is for sure. Because regardless of how much passion and chemistry and, you know, I can't really say love. I don't quite see love on the board like that. Yeah, I mean love feelings, right? But this is more anxiety and lack. It's still lacking something. Because here it's almost like you guys wouldn't even want to be apart. You want to be in each other's arms. You know? So there's there's lack. Okay, so now we have the Nine of Pentacles. This you got two nines, all right. This this particular Nine of Pentacles is like obsession. Okay. Can't stop thinking about you, wanna be with you. Um this one always reminds me like your your hair's all over the house, or they literally cut hair. It's Sometimes it could be like a shrine, but n nothing overboard, okay? This to me is, it, it really is just chemistry. Like whatever you have with somebody or had with someone. See, it's lots of playing. That's like ring around the rosy. Because this is either someone from your past coming back or this is putting yourself in a situation where there's a chance you can catch feelings. So you're like up and down, in and out. So it's either the past is back in town, you know, coming around the mountain, coming at you, and it's it's a tough decision. So you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, see, this is someone you walked away from or they walked away from. Well, this is probably somebody from your past got the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is wanting to be in each other's arms, wanting each other back. It, it's almost like in order for this to happen, someone needs to share their feelings. There is vulnerability here, so you know, be careful. Don't don't mess with, don't mess with that. Like, don't take advantage of that. I mean, I don't see that you would. It looks like you and someone have a very mutual connection. So again, this is you're about to either put yourself in the same situation that you've done before in the past, or it's this person coming back from the past. You have the Queen of Swords, so normally she's, you know, she's intelligent. Um, her back is turned towards this right now, though. She's been hurt lots of times. There's umpteenth nails in this heart. So whatever this is regarding, it is a big deal. Others of you, um, you're newly single and you might just start dating. And I have a wand. So it's, it's another messenger. But it's, it's passion. You know, it's like messages of like, I miss you. I want to be with you. I want to touch you. I want to hold you. Um... Because if you look at the depiction, every card, okay, is the two of you together. It's, it's nice. Sometimes it's lonely. There's a little obsession here, but not enough to, like, really worry about it. Like, this wasn't a situation that was, like, bad for you per se. You know, um, the Queen of Swords is the only one standing here, sitting here, where it's kind of like... It's cold. So, in that case, some of you probably won't give this a second shot. Some of you will. Whatever you guys went through, you went through a lot. Because there's chemistry, there's passion, there's synergy. There's anxiety, there's nervousness, there's you take my breath away. There's But there's this lack. So I don't know if this was a very lustful situation for somebody. 
and it kind of turned ugly or you had to kind of like turn cold. Because this is where I said someone, someone here has got to make a judgment call. Do I do this again? Because this is doing it again, but like can't keeping, this is like can't keep your hands off each other. There's a lot of passion here. It's like no matter what, you keep ending up in each other's arms. Tell me about this queen of swords real quick. So you're going to get some type of message. It's either going to be, okay, I'm going to tell you how I feel. Or I want a second shot. Or it's going to be like, I really miss you. It's probably a combination of things. And then you got the five of cups. So it looks like the feminine's upset about a situation. Clearly there's a situation that she's upset about. Um, got the devil right here. Five of swords. So I don't know if this is another feminine that's watching this. Some of you are definitely being watched. <clears throat> By another feminine. Because with this right here, this would be telling me it's toxic, watch your back. This is somebody who, this is like revengeful energy. And with the Seven of Cups there, you know, plotting. So lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, upheaval. So that's like the tower. So it's almost like the tower is coming in. And then you got kisses, you know unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. So whatever went down between you and this person um, is a lot. You guys obviously have a past too. The Five of Cups talks about your past. So you do have something sudden out of the blue coming in. You now have two nines and, and three fives. I think Fire had three fives too. So there's, there's some change to this dynamic. So I don't know if this is like now or... It's like, yeah, pain turned to anger. So I don't know when that's going to kick in, if that's not already here. Because this is pain turning into anger. You're still talking to this person, though. So just be careful here, because that's tough. Others of you, I'm telling you, this is somebody else watching. Somebody from their past or your past. It's like you're falling in love elsewhere. I don't think that's anything you need to worry about, though, because it's not, like, the main message. I feel like there's something very, like, um, calm, slow, I don't know, going on here. So, again, I'll just, you know, I'm going to tell you this one more time. If you don't have anybody in your life, it looks like some of your past is coming back, and you're going to have to decide on what you want to do. Others of you, if you're dating, um... enjoy it you might actually have some of your past come back and step in and be like what do you think you're doing but there's a lot of chemistry between you and somebody so i don't think you need to worry about that either others of you if you're you already know what this is and you're already talking to this person it's just like a lot of anxiety around do i do this again how much do i give because there's there's a lack with the five of pence and this is literally when the two of you are not together. It is, it's hard. You both miss each other. You both lack. And when you're talking, you guys are talking. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of chemistry here. A lot of passion. 
It's nice. It's really nice energy. Um, so again, I don't know if it's just like random and out of the blue because this is the tower where... your your pain turns to anger or your anger or frustration for a situation turns to pain because there's a lot of love so I don't know if it's one-sided this is a this is a very magnetic pull that you're experiencing with someone or you're about to be experiencing with someone <clears throat> And others of you, there is a woman watching you, somebody from your past or their past, and they're watching something go down. I don't know why they would give that message, though, but if I'm telling you, if that message is there and it's linked to this, this is literally somebody who's, like, plotting. But to me, this is... It's just there's still lack here. So I don't know if you feel like you need to watch your back. It's like risky for you, but when you guys play and talk and when you're together, it's good. No, see, third party. No, so somebody, this is somebody else watching this go down. This is somebody else, which makes sense because she's the only one. She's like being cold and bitter, <clears throat> and she's literally watching it go down. So... I don't know if she's trying to now at this point emotionally manipulate a situation. So this could be a mother, a father, a wife, a husband, an ex. Or it's your past. And if this is you, it's just like, and you know there was somebody else in the picture. Because this is complicated. This is a whole lot. And there's lack, guys. I get it, right? So some people would, even if this is you in all this, that's why I'm saying sometimes <clears throat> that frustration can turn into sorrow or vice versa. And you, and you get cold. And maybe you're just, maybe you're communicating with somebody new because you want something more. There's a couple different stories here. Let me get one more for the queen. <clears throat> for the queen of swords here. Coffee cup and passion. Yeah, no, see? This would be like resisting it at this point because there's just, you know there's still something going on. And I don't think this is somebody sleeping with, um... This doesn't look like a situation where everybody's like sleeping together or there's stuff going down, going down like that. Um, so hold on a sec. I mean, it, it could be her trying to persuade because she's lacking. Right now, it, this is this is tough. You guys are definitely in a tough, tough predicament. This is like this is like revengeful too, like plotting. This is uh, this is ugh. you know. It it's it's uh, see how everything just switched. My voice, the read, everything. You, you must be incredibly frustrated because this is what you have with somebody and it is, it's magnetic and then you have this one that just continues to interfere <clears throat> and she's revengeful. So Yeah, see the justice reverse. So this is this is a situation where there was a situation where there was absolutely no balance and there was probably something extremely karmic.
someone could be leaving a situation because there's just, you, you wouldn't stop this chemistry. What am I, what am I going for? Page of pens, so there is some type of offer. It's like not, not wanting to see something though. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, there's definitely feelings here. So you definitely caught feelings as an obsession. There's, there's all sorts of feelings here. Um, I can't tell you what is really going down because there is a lot going down. This one's going to find out something out of the blues. Not going to like it at all. It's going to cause arguments, disruption. You're dealing with a, a situation that's throwing you off. Um... And then you just have this amazing, another amazing situation. So you have decisions to make. And just a possible outcome awakening. So I don't know if it's you awakening, them awakening, this other person awakening. Again, it's like the tower. So I'm going to clarify this in the um, extended on Patreon. I, I just, I don't feel like you even need to really worry about this. I really don't. Not, not with the, like, not with what I'm seeing. Let me just do one more before I take it over to Patreon. King Cups, the devil reversed. So coming coming out of a situation. Um, four pence reverse, releasing, letting go. So yeah, I, I don't think four cups, ten of cups. Yeah, see this is this is having no choice. Okay. Um there's someone's releasing and letting go of a situation and then the four of cups and the ten of cups this is somebody who is trying real hard to step back into routine and if this other energy hasn't done it yet they're going to like this is very persuading i do do what it takes and and see how distracted he is he's too busy looking at this other energy but she, whoever this is, is is very pursuing, or will be. He's rather reluctant. See, he's just looking at you. So it's almost like, I don't know, if he takes himself out of this situation and he releases and his focus is there, but it, there's still some type of focus here, but I don't think it's enough to stop what this is. There's no way. Like, she can try, but he's not, he's not interested. She'll try everything. It, you know, kids, especially if there's kids, ten of cups is here. She, she, she's going to try. <clears throat> okay. But he's just kind of like in his own little world. Looking over here. Okay. So... It's unfortunate when there's interference like this. Um, so either, yeah, you have to draw the line or somebody else has to draw the line or there's a loss here. And it would it, it really would stink to have this type of loss because there's just such magnetism with you and somebody. It really is beautiful and unfortunate that this is, is not, um, there's no line drawn here yet. It looks like it's being drawn. Okay, but like I said, there's, Whoever this person is, is still in the other person's life, but the other person, again, is just kind of like doesn't want the offer and not really going there. You know what I mean? Is definitely more interested in a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or, or vice versa, whoever this is. It's just, it's just there. Okay, so um, I will take this over to Patreon, and we will see you there. And for those who are not joining me on Patreon, I hope you have a kick-ass week, and I'll see you next week.
Love you guys. Bye.